I've been thinking about giving you a promotion. Do you hate your job? Are you tired of completing menial tasks which lead to nothing? Well, Job Simulator isn't any different in that regard. However, in Job Simulator, you can actually splash coffee on your boss and fulfill your fantasies, which you'd never be able to do at your real job. Hello, human. I am Boss Bot. I notice you've logged in, so I'm here to give you your first task of the day. We need to bring some new bots on board, so look through your resumes and find two bots to hire. Hello everyone, this is Corey, and before we get started, I want to quickly say that I am currently live streaming on YouTube 24-7 until I reach 100,000 subs. I created this entire video while live and will continue creating future videos until I reach my goal. I'm typically active from noon to midnight Eastern Standard Time, so come say hi. So let's get into the review where I answer the question, is Job Simulator worth it? The good stuff. Job Simulator places you into a world where robots have taken over human jobs, and you can fill the roles of an auto mechanic, store clerk, gourmet chef, or an office worker. All four jobs offer a light-hearted and entertaining experience with plenty of comedy. Like it's stuck. Sadly, this was common with early generations of robots. You're given tasks to keep you busy, but you can do whatever you want between completing those tasks. Each job took me roughly 30 to 45 minutes. Thanks, coworker. And once you've completed a job, your job cartridge turns gold and you unlock unlimited overtime, where you can mindlessly continue to perform each job endlessly into the night. There are some Easter eggs with these, but I couldn't be bothered because things become a bit too repetitive for me. The great thing about Job Simulator is that it's a room scale game where you're only moving with your physical body. This means there is no teleport or smooth locomotion movement, and this will be a great game for those who are prone to motion sickness from movement in VR. The thing about Job Simulator is that it eventually starts to feel like an actual job. And this brings me to the bad stuff. Young human you are. Have a lovely Job day. Simulator is very repetitive, and while it is very entertaining and fun at first, if you've played a fair share of VR games already, then you might find the tasks a bit boring, especially after spending 45 minutes to complete one job and completing similar tasks over and over again. I found the office worker job had the most variety of work, but the other three were very repetitive in nature. I guess it's called Job Simulator for a reason. This one isn't much of a negative, but the game is five years old now, which means it feels five years old. And while it's a very polished game, it is using old VR tech. This means your hands in VR don't have collision and will go through most objects. And when you pick up items, your VR hands disappear completely. This isn't a huge deal, but it's something we are steering away from in our many modern VR titles that are coming out. And because of this, the game just feels a bit awkward. What is this, your first job? That being said, Job Simulator is a great game for those who are new to VR, or those wanting a relaxed yet entertaining time in VR where you can complete tasks at your own leisure. So is it worth it? I personally won't be playing it again, but if you want to show off VR to someone new, then I'd say it's a great addition for your library because it's simple and easy to play for someone new to VR. I hope you all enjoyed this short and sweet video. Thanks for hanging out, and if you want to know what I'll be reviewing next, make sure you stop by my live stream, and you might see me working on it when you do. I'll be reviewing every game I play in VR, so if you enjoyed the video, subscribing is the best way to get more. Make sure you hit the bell to get notified as soon as I release new videos, and liking the video will show your appreciation. And if you want to know what's on my mind, then follow me on Twitter. Links to everything are in the description down below. And as always, make sure you think for yourself, which means question yourself, do what makes you happy, and I'll see you all next time.